How do you start lamotrigine? Do you use the standard titration? As you know, that's 25 milligrams for two weeks, 50 milligrams for two weeks, and then weekly increases by 100 milligrams until response or problems or 400 milligrams. Is that what you do? When would you do something else? Hi, Jim Phelps here for the Psychopharmacology Institute. For patients who can handle some pill chopping, can you go slower than the standard approach, say 12.5 milligrams for a week, and then increasing weekly by that amount to 50 milligrams? It's the same net result at four weeks, just a little slower start and a slightly smoother increase. Will that lower the rash rate? Mind you, we're not talking about the really dangerous rashes here, Stevens-Johnson syndrome, toxic epidermal necrolysis, or other drug hypersensitivity syndromes. We're talking about the benign rash, which I'm sure you've seen, with a published rate of about 10% using the standard titration. This benign rash can halt a lamotrigine trial that might otherwise have been effective monotherapy. So if you could lower the rate of the benign rash even a little bit without significantly slowing the titration, that would be great. Is that possible? Well, now we have some real-life data on this question. Dr. Tomoyuki Nakamura and colleagues looked back at the records of 300 patients, about half of whom started at the standard rate, while the other half started at slower rates, such as I just described, or even slower, such as 12.5 milligrams for two weeks, then 25 for two weeks, and so on, basically halving the standard titration doses, or doubling the duration of each step, or sometimes both. And the question is, did patients on the slower schedules have a lower rate of the benign rash? Well, in the standard titration group, the rate of benign rash was 16%, while the rate in the slow titration group was almost two-thirds lower at 5.8%. The rate of any adverse effects, such as nausea or headache, was also cut in half from 20% to 10%. Two other research studies of slower-than-standard titration had similar results. All three papers conclude that we should start lower and go slower than the standard titration. But how much slower? It already takes six weeks to get to 200 milligrams, and this has led some practitioners to thinking that lamotrigine is too slow to bother starting on an inpatient unit, for example. And that's ironic because I know some of those same practitioners are starting antidepressants, which we routinely describe as taking up to several weeks to have benefit. But lamotrigine is no slower than antidepressants. As you've likely seen, when lamotrigine works well, there's often evidence of some response at 50 milligrams, and sometimes even a hint at 25 milligrams. In a randomized trial of lamotrigine versus olanzapine fluoxetine combination for bipolar depression, lamotrigine response was not slower. Although it never worked quite as well, the rate of improvement was the same. Despite lamotrigine being titrated while lanzapine fluoxetine combination was not. So, carrying this new paper's slow titration idea one step further, I recommend increasing to 75 milligrams at week five, 100 at week six, 150 at week seven, and 200 milligrams at week eight, and halting the increase at any point if improvement is substantial. Because for many patients, there is a sweet spot at around 150 milligrams with full benefit but no word finding problems. Three more thoughts. First, Lamotrigine now has multiple case reports of inducing a switch into hypomania. Dr. Nakamura and colleagues included this as a potential adverse effect, seeing one instance in the 300 patients they reviewed. Second, for experienced pharmacologists, a benign rash need not be the end of lamotrigine. In an important review, Dr. Chris Aiken summarized 27 cases of rechallenge with lamotrigine after a treatment-ending rash, some of which were severe, like lip blisters with fever and adenopathy, and cautious re-exposure was successful in 22 of 27 patients, with no cases of Stevens-Johnson or TEN. Finally, I'll pass along a strategy suggested to me by a neurologist with several decades of experience. If a patient calls describing a rash not on the face with no systemic symptoms, no malaise, just a morbilliform rash on arms, leg, or trunk, 
lower the dose one step back down the titration and have them leave a voicemail every day describing the rash and any other symptoms. If no worsening is described, call them back and authorize one more dose until the next day's report. If the rash worsens, stop lamotrigine. Most often it will disappear over a few days, and then you can continue at that slightly lowered dose for a week or so, and then resume titration by smaller, slower steps. In conclusion, for patients who can handle pill chopping, make 12.5 milligrams your routine starting dose. If they can tolerate a seven or eight week ramp to 200 milligrams, take that time. With this approach, you'll see fewer benign rashes and less often have to consider halting a Lamotrigine trial. For more on this, see that Aiken paper about rechallenging after a rash. It will reassure you.